Problem two. Which of these numbers is the square root of two to the power of two to the power of 100? Of course, they give you five options, one of which is the square root of that very weird number. All right, let's take a closer look. First thing, what is it that makes this problem difficult? Well, I don't know about you, but in my opinion, it's this number right here. Because if it was a number that was 2 to the power of something, that would be easier to deal with, right? But they go one step further and they do 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 100. So that's something that will make it difficult. And then, of course, the rest of it is pretty straightforward. What's square root? That means that there is some number, right? Let's call it x. That if you multiply it by itself, and this x needs to be one of these uh, numbers, that's, of course, going to be x squared, another way of writing that. And then that's going to be 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 100. So how do we approach this problem? Now, of course, what you could do is that you could just go along with like saying that this is true, this part, and doing the, you know, the calculation of the algebra, all of that, the, the, the exponent rules and all that to, to get the result of x. That's one way to go about it. But I don't know if I want to go that route. Because at the end of the day, it's asking for the square root, which means that one of these numbers multiplied by itself is going to get us this. So let's try that approach first. I'm just going to pick the first number here. I'm going to say 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 50 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 50. What is this? Well, oof. Okay, so now I'm going to think, well, I know that there's an exponent rule that says that 2 to the power of a, let's call it, times 2 to the power of b is equal to 2 to the power of a plus b. I know that from school. And if you don't remember that, we can very quickly see why that has to be true. Because, of course, 2 to the power of a is just 2 times 2 times 2 a bunch of times, Let's just do dot, dot, dot for that, times 2, and the number of times that it's multiplied by itself is a times, right, a times. So that's true for this one, this thing, and that's similarly true for this as well, as 2 to the power, but 2 to the times 2, times 2, blah, 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 times 2, how many times? b times. So then, very logically, what would um, follow from that is that if you had 2 to the power of a, 2 to the power of b, that really just is 2 to the power of 2 times blah, 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 times 2, a times, which we figured out from here, times, because of this thing, 2 to the power of, you know, multiply it by itself, at the end, b times, which means that if you take all of this, how many twos do you have with multiplication symbols between them? That's a plus b, which is why this is true. So using that, we would be able to say that, let's, let's move this over down. Oh, um, let's see, this one. Move it over here like this. Okay, now going back to this, let me use that rule now. And so I would say 2 to the power of this thing. And in this case, then it would just be plus 2 to the power of 50. Right now, it happens to be that this number is not, it's an exponent number, right? But uh, from this rule that we came up with, this has to be true. Okay, so how do we deal with this then? You know, this is still kind of not really in the form that I want it to be in. All right, let's think then. So, what we now have is, let's take it over here, we have 2 to the power of 50 plus. 2 to the power of 50. What does that equal? Whew. Hmm. Two 
2 to the power of 50 plus 2 to the power of 50. Okay, so you have one number, which is this one. And then you have the same number added to it, which is like this. Okay, well, what's another way to write that if you have the same number added to itself one time? Well, there's two of those numbers, right? So wouldn't it be right to say that this is the same as 2 times 2 to the power of 50, right? All you're saying is that there's two of these things. There's one, two of these. Well, you can write that in a different way. You can say 2 times that number, right? And it doesn't really matter if you put it this one first or that one first. Of course, it's going to say give you the same thing. But that's really interesting because... Now you have 2, and 2 is the same as 2 to the power of 1, of course. Then you're saying that that is the same using this exponent rule here, a plus b, right? Would be 1 plus 50, which means that 2 would be, it'll be 2 to the power of 51. Oh, interesting. Okay, so if you have... 2 to the power of 50 plus 2 to the power of 50, that equals 2 to the power of 51. That's a little bit counterintuitive because I think that most people, when they look at this, they kind of instinctually want to say, oh, this is going to be 2 to the power of 100 probably, right? 50, 50, you know, uh, add them together, you get 100. But in this case, that's not the case, right? And we got a very good reason for why was that wasn't the case because we wrote this in a different way and we said 2 to the power of, of that number. All right, well, that changes thing a little bit because is there some number here that could perhaps get us to that? Someone here? Well, if we were to do this one, and that obviously wouldn't be the case, right? Because if you do 2 to the power of 100 and 2 to the power of 100, i uh, be 2 to the power of 200. All right, and so let's try C. Then we have for C, let's do 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 99 times this. And I think you can already see if this is going to be correct or not. But if we now do this equals this, then of course we can use first this exponent rule and say, well, that's the same as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 99. And then this added. Okay, and now we have this thing right here up, which means that from our little thing that we came up with here, that means, well, there's two of these two to the power of 99s, which means that it has to be equal to two. And I'm gonna put that down here because I don't think you can see it if I continue writing. That would be two to the power of two to the power of 100 because it will be 99 plus one. And there you go that would be the correct answer. So it's C. I want to take a little uh, pause here because you might have solved this a different way and there's definitely a different way to solve it. But in some cases, if you're, if you, since in this case you only have five op options, it could actually be worth it to just start multiplying these numbers by itself and very quickly using these exponent rules uh, get to the right answer, which in this case, it only took us three tries here. And really, at the end of, end of the day, what made this um, possible for us to solve it using this approach is first remembering that there's this rule right here, which happens when you multiply these two numbers, right? And then after that, we had a little insight over here that if you have these two numbers that are this, you know, the same numbers, but added together, it's the same uh, as saying two times that. And that is really important because that's what, uh, if, if you really get familiar with that idea of taking something that you already know or something that's given in the problem and rewriting it in a different way, that is often where a lot of these insights lay. And so that made it, you know, uh, pretty obvious from there that, ah, okay, it's 99, which means 99 plus one, that will be 100, so it's probably this one. Yep.